ascension. Now, the bodily form of Christ ascending from earth to heaven. Ascension. 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 Now as he removed the diadem, he arose from his throne so we can die for sin and we can be alive again. A second chance for mankind to try again. He's the lion in the land. My favorite song on the album is uh, Drowning featuring Chris Lee. The reason why it's my favorite is because at that time, me and my wife, we were going through the worst time of our marriage, of our lives actually. Uh, she was pregnant with our daughter. I had just got fired from uh, my management position at CVS. I was making good money. It was great, you know. And then um, all of a sudden, we didn't have anything. It was nuts. And uh, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, like, okay, God, where are you? Like, uh, I need help. You see my wife is pregnant. You see I don't have a job. You know that I want to provide. I've been doing right by you this whole time. And I didn't hear anything. And so it's like my thoughts started to uh, drown me. I started to think like, all right, I'm going to go rob somebody. I'm going to go sell some crack. I got friends that I know will throw me something. You know what I'm saying? An eight ball or something. And then God had brought back to my remembrance how he uh, had provided for me and my wife before. How he's provided for people that I witnessed to. I mean, many, many miracles, you know, and uh, he brought back in his word, like uh, he said, uh, look at the birds of the air. They don't, they don't work, they don't do anything, but I still feed them. And then, uh, you know, after sitting there, thinking about it for so long, I was like, I need to write about this. And then uh, I knew that this song would help people. And in this song, uh, you know, I would like for it to continue to go to other songs like War Cry and how this song can help other people. And it's like the whole album is dedicated to everybody who has an issue. You know, like I had an issue with thinking like, okay, God, this isn't your provision. God, this ain't, this ain't your work. You know, but the whole time he was sustaining me, the whole time he was giving me strength, the whole time he, he sustained my wife and he gave my wife strength. And you know, I looked at it and I was like, man, this whole album can help people. Like I want some dude who's on the bus stop to hear the album, he'd be bobbing his head to it. And he's like, man, that's some realness, you know. Uh, uh, the dude in the church, in the back pew, all the way in the back when he's hearing War Cry and he's abusing women, you know, when he hears that song, I want his life to be affected. I want his mind and his soul to be touched. You know, like this album isn't just for the church. This album is for everybody. And I don't think that it's, uh, it's something that should just stay in one place. But I believe that this album, God, hey, he has given it to me. He's given me the words so it can touch every single person that it comes in contact with. Listen, he's stepping off for of the throne. A heavenly host bow while he is leaving his home. Wearing a white robe and on it it says Redeemer. Love in his hands and patience for unbelievers. He sees Elijah. And as he bows to the king, Christ steps in the chariot of fire. A bronco with four wings pulls it. Christ stands bold with the sword like passes behind the pulpit. He hears the cries of the cherubs and the seraphims. This is necessary. It's what he's telling them. He ascends and admires his homeland. The kingdom he got built with words and not his own hands Esteemed by cathedrals He is grieved by the sound of angels saying that we need you But he keeps moving on And then he hears Michael and Gabriel with angels singing a song which is holy, holy